So I'm only working with a few files here. And if I click here on the right, you'll see that when you tap on one of these, it's going to tell you a lot about that particular one. And what you can do is expand this window out to see more of the metadata about that particular one. It's going to tell me that the original file name was that, right? Uh, it's going to say exactly when I made it, uh, exactly what I did with it. And if I scroll down here, there's all these, all these other things. It'll tell me about the camera that I used, a Panasonic Lumix G, okay? It tells me my f-stops, all sorts of information about it. And when you scroll down, you see there's a whole bunch of stuff. It even remembers that, that name that I had originally, that tutorial, okay? When you click on IPTC Core, you'll see that it also tells you the creator and some keywords associated with it when it's created, and it also says copyright. Now, the neat thing is, is that some of this stuff, I don't have to actually fill out each time. I can create a template and make it to where every time I have to uh, import pictures, I can just have it apply my template, okay? So let's see how to do that. All right, so I got this one selected, and what I want to do is go to Tools, and we want to create a metadata template, okay? Now, some things you probably want to leave out. Like in my case, I don't want the keywords. Now, I don't have to delete them. I can leave them where they are. But I think James Willie, that should be there. Um, job title, let's go ahead and put that one in. We're going to say it. Uh, master of the no let's see uh, teacher that's what we'll do and we can put in the address uh, city okay I think the city is important let's put that in we'll say Greenville Green Vegas and we won't pull Simpsons and make you guess on that we'll just go ahead and put in South Carolina and we're gonna put in the US All right, so that's going to tell you a whole lot of information about that particular image. You can put in your email. Tap that one in. That's actually not my email. I faked it. Uh, now, description, things like that, I don't think that that should be something that is consistent amongst all your pictures. But anything you want to be consistent amongst all the pictures, you can put uh, let's see, when it says copyright status here, if you check this, you can say copy, copyrighted, public domain, or unknown. I'm going to say copyrighted. And you can say copyright notice. You can change that to something more complex, like, um, let's see, all rights reserved. All right, and you can put in some terms, okay? So, you know, if you put in Creative Commons or something, you can put that in. And whatever you're checking off is going to be part of the template. So notice I didn't do the flower stock, I didn't put the date created, because those things are going to be unique to each image, okay? I can also name my copyright template here, or my metadata template here at the top, and call it James Willie basic copyright All right and go ahead and click save now what I can do is highlight all these and once again I'm gonna go and just not highlight those guys and if I go to tools I can say append metadata now what append means is to add to the end so it's gonna keep the fact that it's a flower and stock and stuff like that or I can say replace metadata Okay, and it'll replace those items that I've changed, those items I checked. Now, in my case, I did make some changes. I uh, changed the way the copyright was listed down at the bottom. So I'm going to do it a replace. Okay, so there's a difference between append, that's fill in empty spots, and replace, okay, which is right over. All right, and I'm going to click that, and now it'll wait a moment. And now, look, all of them will tell me exactly about each of those listings. Now, I really suggest making a few copyrights, ones that you are going to apply for stock imagery, ones that maybe uh, have 
you know, a Creative Commons situation so you can, you know, put that in. Maybe maybe even have ones for ones that you need to get some releases for. You know, if you took a photo of somebody, you need to get a photo release for that model, you know. So that way you can have them tagged by that particular aspect. Anyway, see if you can make a cool template and have it be useful for you on your images.